discussing in the last class in chapter 7 this is your chapter 8 this is a continuation of the earlier uh, earlier lecture uh, that where i was discussing about the uniformity and non uniformity of a spin so let me explain it further with the graphical method so that it will be pretty much clear for you <coughs> if i want to draw the uh, uh, draw draw the uh, motion in 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 respect to the time and the velocity v when it is a uniform motion that means when the uh, s by t what i said is equal to constant okay s by t is constant so if i plot it against s by t s let's say the displacement s by t so for the time is distributed in equal parts this y axis is x uh, s y x axis is t so now for any t if s is constant that means for zero there will be no uh, displacement at zero it will be uh, supposed to be in if i uh, correlate with a linear motion at zero the position does not change so t zero the s must be equal to zero okay let's say after t the displacement this is s after 2t as per the uniform velocity i'm saying after 2t this is 2t the displacement between t to 2t is will be always same and that to the next segment of t it has to be same so every time the span is same s between the uh, time span t so if i want to plot it at t let's say this is t this is 2t this is 3t 4t like that at t let's say this is also uh, uh, being distributed like s 2s 3s like that so i will get something here one point the first one at t s is equal to also s so that coordinate will be the first t and s for second 2t it will be 2s so it will be the coordinate is 2t 2s for 3 it will be so if i join this line i will definitely get a straight line what it denotes it denotes the s by t is constant so s by t is nothing but what v so v here is constant why i am saying v because v is nothing but the slope of slope of the line and it is denoted by s by t why it is this if i take this portion drop a vertical from here if i drop a vertical if i draw a vertical so then this part is your 3s and this part from here it is 3t so if you correlate with the linear equation that i have already taught you that is equal to y is equal to mx kind where the uh, the c is part is zero because c is the uh, the initial cut point with x axis means here it is s axis so if i consider it is similar to m into t so y axis there is s in x axis there is a t so and m is the slope so what is m so m here as per this is equal to this i am getting the same thing for v so that means is equal to tan theta theta is what this the angle that the line will make with the horizontal axis so that is your m what is m that is your m that is equal to tan theta so that means here v will denote the slope of that that is nothing but s by t so now i am saying that s by t is constant that means v is constant so this line is a linear line isn't it so from there for uniform velocity i am getting v is equal to constant so that is s by t uh, so from here i can say that for uniform velocity s is nothing but v into t s is equal to vt s means distance traversed by in time t is s is equal to vt okay so this is the kind of 
relation now if i want to get that equation in between the time this time and this time so there must be some velocity here if i assume that the lower velocity that means here it is denoted by u and here the velocity is v because all are velocity if i want to study between this two span in between those two span the initial velocity for it will be i consider it to be u or let's say i'm considering this this is the initial velocity u and the final velocity within this span i can study in between any span of this line this will be an infinite line both way if i extend it that also whether it can extend it backward is it possible because here v is negative v is a vector so it needs a direction if i extend it backwards what does it mean will it be possible to extend it backwards first you say that time you have to consider negative time cannot be negative time is scalar time cannot be have direction so this line extending backward is not possible what is possible if i extend it this way that means for time here if i go up it will be a positive s displacement positive this way as because displacement is a vector for this if i take this is it real or not because if i consider t minus s that means what does it mean it doesn't mean the uh, distance is negative distance is negative only because of the direction that means if i assume the particle has to move this way this is the positive direction of displacement it has started moving on the backward so this has moved on the backward of of the same length of s so this can be possible and if i drop this line it will follow the line which is equal to negative v will be negative that will be denoted by s by t okay and this negative means only the orientation only the direction of the body it is moving because my assumption is that this side is positive on that assumption this gap can be possible so here you can understand that velocity is possible okay velocity negative is possible okay because it is directional one it is not that uh, <coughs> it is going below the zero velocity going below the zero velocity it doesn't mean anything going below the zero velocity that means it is change is direction only so just understand what i am explaining this side is positive velocity that means if i have considered this is a positive direction on motion and this side is a negative direction motion with this is going back so this is the only implication of negative sign so this is about the uniform velocity now what i have just trying to explain instead of that say <coughs> yes what was explaining let's say i'm just trying to study the velocity uh, this graph within this span from t 2t and 3t i want to within this span i want to study the velocity then what would be my equation then there must be some velocity here which i denote as u that is nothing but is equal to the span divided by time and the here it is 3s by 3t so that means if i cancel it v the and u is same but the v and u is same but what is that there must be some uh, uh, the velocity here itself which is equal to the velocity here so if i want to study it so <clears throat> can i able to mark it with a some other velocity because u also stands so v is also here it is so you can say 
the initial velocity and the final velocity is same so this is only happens when the speed is constant or the velocity is constant so v and u is equal to same so the distance will only depend on any of the velocity if you write u or u and t or d and t it doesn't differ the equation so you cannot have a different velocity in this slope understand <clears throat> now <clears throat> come to the non uniform velocity on this basis if i try to describe with the non uniform velocity on the same graph again i have to draw it the non uniform velocity describe is s by t is variable so this is the condition of non uniform velocity for whatever reason it is due to the magnitude of that or the direction but now i am considering the speed only just forget about the uh, velocity so velocity will differ uh, the speed and velocity will considering will be same for linear motion so i am just concentrating on the linear motion right now i am just forgetting about the other thing so if i consider the linear motion where velocity and speed are same and that if it is variable that means only the magnitude is differing <clears throat> so what could be the condition now again i am distributing it in equal parts this is denoting by t this is s this is also distributed in equal manner because i am assuming the units are is equal and that may be 1 cm equal to 1s and 1 cm is equal to 1t i am just assuming this uh conversion okay. <clears throat> now if it is s is equal to variable that means for t for first t let's say it has moved a and variable means that is again that s by t is equal to v now this case v is variable means v is changing so if i uh, say that s by t this is receivable denote let's say in t time 2t 3t 4t 5t this is s 2s 3s 4s so initially for uniform t against s is same but let's say for t i have started with uh, for zero uh, because every motion will start from zero so there is no point of discussing this because at t is equal to zero s will be zero okay if the reference point is we are starting from the reference point itself the reference point and the start point is same i am considering that the reference point equal to the start point okay there is no uh, dist uh, distant apart okay so this is my assumption so then t is equal to 0 s will be 0 t is equal to t let's say this i am considering s so this will be t and s one point but as it is non-uniform there may not be possible that after the second span means of the span of t this might have gone some other distance let's say the velocity is increasing i am just assuming in this case as velocity is increasing so that case it may not be 2s may not be somewhere between this okay okay so this is Debited. In 3T, if it is in the same increment, so again the uh, non-uniform, it is again the incremental uh, thing is same. That means delta V is constant, I am saying. So, velocity is changing in a uniform way. So, now when the S by T is variable, that means there is a two conditions, the velocity. The first condition S by T is constant then v is constant v is uh, the delta v is zero so for uniform velocity delta v that i have seen that u is equal to v so the delta v is equal to zero in s by t okay now i am saying s by t is variable that means delta v the condition there are two conditions may arise either delta v is constant or variable in first case uniformity when s l t is equal to constant just concentrate on that what i am saying there a thing uh, thing that has to be understood 
in a perfect way. S by T, if it is a constant, then delta V is equal to 0. That means V is not changing. V delta V is equal to 0. V is not changing. That means delta V is what? Final velocity by initial velocity. In between, the difference is 0. Now, the condition arises was S by T is variable. So, that means delta V is delta V is may be constant or variable. Two condition may arise. When delta V is constant, is constant, that means V minus U is following a constant value. If it is variable, then V minus U is variable. So, there are two conditions. When S by T is varying, then delta V may be constant when V minus U is constant or delta V may be variable when V minus U constantly changing. So, I am just considering the first case when V minus U is constant. That means V minus U is what? In this graph, S by T graph, the V is denoted by the slope of that, this by this. So, if I connect the first two points, so the ratio of these two points, the slope, may be theta. But if I join the next point, let's say, so if I extend it, let's say I've extended it, the angle it will form may differ than theta. So theta not equal to alpha, the second line, and so on. If I, let's say, this is again incremental. So again, if I extend it, it will form some other angle beta let's say is not equal to beta. So this way that even if it is uh, constant delta v that means in this case two things may happen. Constant delta v means if I take the ratio of this instant so s by t the first s by t or let's say s1 I'm considering s1 or let's say s okay i'm considering a, a definite value in for second span that could may happen that it gone instead of 2 it has gone in between so i'm considering 2.5 s by t okay so now if it is cost delta v is constant then the difference between these two points so i will consider this is v1 this is v2 so, if I take V2 minus V1, the difference, that will be 1.5 S by T. Then, if it is this, the constant, the third one, which will be, let's say, V3, it must be deferred from this by 1.5 only. So, from there, I can say it must be 4 S by T. Got my point. So, if it is constant velocity change, then... Even though in S, S by T diagram, I can see that the line is deviating, that slope is differing, but the difference between the two consecutive point of velocity, it is same. That is the constant velocity. Now, if it is delta V is variable, So, if it is delta V is variable, that means delta V is variable, that means V minus U, U is variable, it is not constant. So, then what will happen? Can we able to plot it as I plotted in delta V is equal to constant? Can you plot it? Now, if I try to plot it, because in constant up to some extent, it is moving the same velocity, then again it is changing. If I take it like that, okay, it is changing. Now, this sharp changes between the, when the velocity is changing, can be marked easily. If it is a span is somewhat readable or uh, measurable. Now, there may be some condition when the velocity is variable, that means every instant of time, that means this sharp changes will reduce. So, I can say it is variable. That means uh, if I go on further constant, if I further, if I uh, extend this, 
तो देर में भी चांसेस दैट द स्पैन इज वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली चेंजेस वन कैन बी केस कैन बी ए लार्जर और एक्सटेंडेड वन वन कैन बी पॉसिबल दैट इट कॉन्स्टेंटली रिड्यूसिंग द स्पैन and you the within that span velocity changing so that could be impossible so in some condition it may arise that the curve the shaft changes you cannot assume rather you will get a continuous curve if it is a continuous curve for any point of time or any span of time small or big you will get changes in the slope that means the changes will only be understood the slope if we take a tangent so that means it is almost a circular path where in every point you can draw a tangent which will only cut at single point which is only touch at single point and if it is the case this is called the delta v uh, sorry delta v variable delta v variable instantaneously that means the time span is so small it is tending the change in time tending to zero but not equal to zero the span you can assume so finite simply small or so uh, tending to zero but you cannot assume it is zero okay so if that is the case then every moment of time the velocity is changing and that only can be uh, denoted because that uh, v is the slope of the line for any case okay because v is in this sn diagram is delta s by delta t the change in uh, uh, displacement by this so if it is so small the span is so small so only in any, every single point you will get a tangent and that will give you different angle because if it is curve every time if it extend on x axis it will form a different angle okay isn't it so if that is the case so delta s delta t we call it a uh, infinitesimally small or a uh, you can say uh, instantaneous uh, velocity instantaneous velocity and that is denoted by the smallest possible denotation it is small delta s by delta t this is represented when the velocity is instantaneous okay so this is the case where instantaneous concept is coming when we can see the path it is changing constantly the direction is changing constantly so there are three cases when delta s by t is constant v is zero and s by t is variable in that v can be constant or means the change of velocity is constant or it is variable so these are the three case where uniform speed is uh, defined this is uniform speed this is uniform velocity and this is uniform that when the very that v is variable is called uniform acceleration here is the concept of acceleration comes the uniform the the when the velocity changing in instantaneously that is delta v by delta t it is nothing but acceleration so delta v is variable so delta v by delta t v equals t infant is instantaneous changing it is called the acceleration and as because this is also delta v and delta t is uh, there this is called the acceleration and this case acceleration is constant that means change in infinitesimally if i say it is so infinitesimally change that if it is defined as acceleration then acceleration also can be constant and variable as as delta s because delta s delta t if it is infinitesimally small in case of if i consider the this condition when delta v is variable so that case infinitesimally you can say delta s that also can be defined in this this curve so delta s by delta t it is v again that is again variable so delta s delta t i can say that v is variable this 
this I have defined as if it is infinitesimal, v is constant and variable, that that two condition also uh, is possible when delta v by delta dv by dt infinitesimal uh, condition I will check. So that will denote const acceleration. Delta v and delta d is acceleration. Just understand that first. If it is instantaneous, then even it is called acceleration. But in that case, a can be constant or it can be variable as the same condition that v can be constant and variable. Okay. So that again the concept comes of constant acceleration. But constant acceleration cannot be uh, cannot be represented in s by t graph. Rather, I would have to come a step further where it is directly depend on the velocity. So there the represented of v against t will come. In the similar way, the thing when the velocity, the condition is that v is constant. So that means it is the time. If I take delta v is constant, so that means change in velocity is constant. So for this case, this kind of curve again will arrive. Delta uh, v minus u, that means this is let's say u, then again it is v, then again some velocity is there. So if I take the span in between, v minus delta v is delta v is constant that means the velocity changing is constant but it is not equal that means v not equal to u so that means the span in which the u is moving after the span the v is moving those values are not same but the change if i consider the change what is the change this is the v if it is this is v minus u for the span this is if i say this is 2t t so this is t within this span this velocity change is constant so that means the v minus u by time is constant isn't it so this is the constant velocity and in case there is a constant the instantaneous velocity then the curve will change into a curved line just like s by t where that slope denotes what is this? This is change of velocity delta v. This is change of time delta t. In s, if I keep side by side s and t, the similar graph, if I draw, what is this? This is delta s by delta t. That will denote the slope of the curve. That is velocity. Here delta v by delta t denote what is that? Acceleration. Okay, now if it is if it is distinguished velo velocity coming in the span that can be measured the span is more and distinguished velocity is coming within the span then it will be a constant velocity that is span is more then it is a constant velocity if it is changing conti continuously that means delta v by delta t is if it is acceleration so that means in any point of time, you have to draw a slope to get the uh, slope of the curve. So then that is variable. Infinitesimally changing, so that is variable. Understood? So this is the un this is the whole concept of understanding the relation between the displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Our case in further uh, class. In the next class, I will move with a um, relation between this when our limitation is that the acceleration is constant, const is uniform. So that means this condition will arrive where v minus t is equal to constant. That means acceleration is constant. I will not consider this one. Understood? So up to that, there are relations between the uh, velocity speed, uh, uh, velocity, uh, displacement and acceleration. So all that uh, equ uh, equation I will uh, bring to you and I will explain some uh, uh, more uh, understanding how you will read the graph and what is the implication of graph, what will give you from the graph, what, what you have to read from the graph, 
that i will explain in the next video thank you